Vico Office is the most integrated virtual construction solution on this planet, but yet it's the cleanest and most simple and workflow based solution. There are four main areas, the ribbon, the workflow panel, the main view and palettes. Vico Office stores all of your 2D drawings and 3D models in one place and retains a full version history. The complete version history of 3D models from tools like Revit, Tecla, Archicad and SketchUp are also dragged and dropped into the view. 2D drawings can be added as sections and elevations in a hybrid 2D and 3D view. This is to check that 2D and 3D drawings are synchronized and also provide important design data that might not be available in the 3D model. VicoOffice uses object to object clash detection, has some cool auto reveal features and an integrated issue management and RFI tracking process. The slider and highlight modes reveal revisions that might not have been clouded by the design team. Clouds can be added and these issues tracked along with any promoted clashes. Automatic change detection is also able to compare 3D models. The slider acts in a similar way with one version on either side of the slider. We can also highlight and filter changes between any two versions, showing what's deleted, new, modified and unchanged. We adopt the traditionally accepted 2D practice of adding clouds to also track these 3D changes. Vico Office supports a collaborative resolution process. This card view is used in meetings and includes a social discussion board for tracking comments or meeting minutes. All fields are available for integrated reporting. This process promotes resolution rather than the contractual and admin heavy RFI process. Activating a model processes the geometry, groups similar elements and calculates quantities. These quantities are not just the typical rudimentary quantity lists. They are in fact what we call construction caliber quantities, exactly what the estimators and schedulers require. Patented non-destructive location management then virtually splits model elements floor by floor and for each pore zone. This recalculates the quantities required in each of the project locations. As we move on to using these quantities in our workflow, it's important to note that any historical investment in legacy systems is not lost. Simply importing any standard templates or a complete project estimate ready to be developed with model-based data as it becomes available. We could also start from scratch in an Excel look and feel spreadsheet, tabbing between cells and entering data. If we have standard data or assemblies from a previous project, we can just simply drag and drop them into our project. We can now reference these quantities from our consolidated takeoff to complement the cost plan where necessary. The element to quantity to cost integration means that a manual change to the takeoff or an updated model will inform the cost plan automatically. As the cost plan develops and versions are marked, the stoplight colored cost explorer tree helps us understand and explain the change. It warns of over budget in red and also suspiciously low numbers shown in blue and all of the views are filtered just by selecting a node. The next step is to leverage our estimating quantities, costs and any resource data to load the schedule. We drag and drop the cost line items into schedule tasks and see how the quantities and productivity data now drives the schedule durations. The location based quantities drive location based tasks which can be manipulated in both the flow line and the Gantt view. We define trade logic which is automatically copied to all relevant locations and balance the schedule around the bottleneck trades by simply dragging and dropping the lines. The system will tell us what manpower is required in order to meet the desired pace. The Gantt chart, resource graphs, cash flow, etc. are all kept in sync automatically. The byproduct from the integration is a 4D simulation. As we move into the controlling phase of a project, we monitor progress against the target, review deviations in the flow line view, and automatically forecast the effect of not doing anything differently over the next few weeks. We can test control actions to define the best plan to correct any potential delays. 
Here we can see clearly that the subcontractor will need four crews in order to stay on target. By playing the 4D simulation, we can select the layout points for that week and upload them to the total station for the layout in the field. When the work is installed, the actual in-place points are imported and compared and any out-of-tolerance points are flagged for investigation. All of the data within Vico Office can be cut, sliced and diced into tables and charts using an absurdly powerful and completely customizable reporting engine. This report shows graphs and tables highlighting changes between two versions of the estimate. Right now, things are changing. Built on an enterprise class database with best in class graphics engine and extremely simple user interface, Vico Office is the next generation construction office for our industry. We are now able to complete the data mining loop. The companies that will excel in this knowledge era are true learning organizations. For contractors, it means those that have a system to collect, track, and mine quantities, productivity, and cost. These companies will be leaner organizations and win much more work as a result.